Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do a comparison for CPU versus GPU rendering on DaVinci Resolve on Lenovo Legion 5. Let's get started. So we have the DaVinci Resolve open here. I've dragged and dropped some 4K content that I shot last year while on my trip to Fane. So this is uh, roughly one minute of 4K footage. We're going to render it. I'm not adding any text or uh, transition animations. So we're going to use this uh, raw footage as it is for the rendering purpose. And then we will render the same footage through GPU. So this should serve as a standard benchmark. Okay, let's get started. We go to delivery, click on H264. We need to give file a name. So we're going to just type test. 4k i'm just going to save this on desktop for now and that's done now we just need to change the format to mp4 and yeah encoder we will set this at native uh, on native it's going to use the cpu only and the other setting which is nvidia uh, we will talk about that in the next part of the video Okay, uh, the frame rate is uh, roughly 30. We're going to add this to the render queue. Uh, there is another one from previous render. I'm just going to delete it. So all set. Now we're going to click on render. It's saying 2 minutes and 26 seconds. I'm not going to fast forward this part because I want you to feel the exact time duration for the purpose of comparison because when we're going to render using the GPU, you will get a better and much clearer idea about how much time it takes and what's the difference and that's the whole point of this video all right we are about 30 seconds into the rendering and it's 22 23 percent complete so um, one important um, thing about the vnc resolve is you have two versions out there the one is the standard version which is also free and this only allows you to use the cpu for rendering although it contains all the necessary tools and kits for you to do your video and uh, rendering editing stuff but um, that's the limitation of the free version and the other one is the studio version which allows you to select your gpu or cpu whatever you want for your rendering purposes so that's this is the main difference and otherwise it's a pretty robust uh, well-made software and really intuitive to learn and it's a capable capable software all right so it's about one minute remaining we are at 58 percent of rendering so for a 4k video uh, of one minute length i won't say it is um, bad or it's really impressive it's somewhere in between and you will understand why i'm saying it's not really impressive because uh, well we're going to render it using the gpu and then we will get the complete idea of the uh, of the GPU rendering capabilities in DaVinci Resolve. Um, we are using Lenovo Legion 5 4800H AMD Ryzen processor and 1660 Ti graphic card. Currently, we are rendering using 4800H, and that's eight core processor, 2.9 gigahertz, turbo boost up to 4.2 and this is what is currently being utilized so using this we 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 notice that it's taking roughly two minutes and 30 seconds well uh, somewhere around that time to render one minute of 4k video we are almost done there okay so it is complete uh, now we are not going to open it right now uh, but we are going to render the the same video but this time we are going to use the gpu so all the settings are done we just need to change the encoder from native to nvidia everything is the same um, now we just need to rename the file to make sure that it's not going to override the previous render and that's it make sure you select nvidia under the encoder category to render using your gpu the previous render is already there we're just going to re remove that one then we go okay replace existing file no rename we're going to say test 4k nvidia and just going to save that one adding to the render queue rendering starts now 
Okay, so as you can see straight away, it's just showing 46 seconds to render and it's it's going really fast, much, much faster compared to the CPU only rendering and it's roughly one third of the time. So same video footage, no change whatsoever, no transition, no animations added and it's already one third the time of the cpu rendering so it's really fast so as you can see uh, there is a huge difference when it comes to rendering using cpu versus gpu so it's <clears throat> no brainer there and this is definitely worth recommending that use your gpu for rendering since the render is now over we will go to the result check let's open the test 4k properties and we see what's the size it's 2.03 gigabytes now we open the test 4k nvidia file it is to 1.28 gigabytes so not only it's faster but the compression is also good because the size is roughly 750 mb less just quickly skimming through the output video to check the quality so this is the CPU render quality, pretty nice. That's the tortoise at Fanny Reserve, looks cute. Um, moving on to the text 4K video using NVIDIA graphic card. The video quality is the same. I don't see any difference. And if you see any difference, drop below in the comments, but I don't see any difference. Yeah, this turtle is probably 100 years old, by the way. All right, so that's that's all for the comparison. So we can see that CPU took 2.27 minutes, whereas the GPU took less than 50 seconds, and that's really impressive. If you would like to see more comparison videos of such kind, do let me know your thoughts on that one, or if you have any suggestions or there is a specific comparison you want to see, drop in the comments below. I'll try to make that possible. And that's all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Like it, share it, comment. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.